Holly, um, Virgo, <laughs> welcome to my channel. Welcome back uh, to my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general, general love reading for March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and uh, feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, uh, guys. It is timestamp. Uh, so the link should be in the description bar below. So just click on that where it says start reading. As I always say, please take what resonates and uh, just leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as, you know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So if give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. Gonna take this in and hold it back. Okay, so Virgo, let's start with read it. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so just touching on the past. I wanted to clarify some of these cards because I want to see, I'm not sure whether it's um, yourself or this person who has someone else because in the past it seems like you couldn't move there was this feeling of you being stuck unable to move forward um and just kind of keeping certain things to yourself and i'm not sure i wanted to clarify that i wanted to just clarify before i start really diving into this reading yeah it's the, it's the extent of how much you do have an emotional connection with this person, with the two of cups there. That speaks about emotional connection and very much being, you know, I feel like this is representing them, them being very highly attractive, uh, very much, yeah, very much a good, very good looking person. But again, it's you trying to keep those faults to yourself, keep that to yourself to an extent because you're unable to, uh, move forward on this and I feel like it's stemming from this person maybe this person or you will see was well, reprogress um that there's a third party here it's showing up in terms of how they're feeling but I think I get this sense that it's coming from hmm I mean it could be coming from either or yourself or this person but there is this definitely this Focusing on things that are not going right, things that are not going well, and that's simply because you're not moving forward or you're not kind of progressing this. Um, and there is this sense of knowing that, okay, it's because of this third energy that's around. But just bringing it to the current uh, state of the connection, you know, this we've got the Seven of the Blades, which represents just things that have been hidden, sneaky type of uh, card. It talks about, they do things behind the scenes, doing things behind, you know, each other's backs or person's back, um, you know, pulling the wool over your eyes, that type of thing. Again, I feel like it's very much coming. It could be coming from your end. Again, it's like, take it as it applies. It's either this person has this third person or this other person, or you do. Yeah, it's either or. It's either or. But regardless of that, it's causing you to be hesitant which kind of demonstrated how you was feeling in the past. It's, it's just this uh, slow move and hesitancy, naturally, <laughs> naturally, especially if you're the person that has someone, if you're the person that, you know, there's someone else involved in um, this situation for, which is causing a lot of confusion because, you know, there is a decision that needs to be made. But again, it's this, it's a lot of confusion around this for you. Uncomfortable, I would even say. So so far as to say it's like if 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 you are the person that's you know got someone else 
and you've developed this emotional connection towards this person, you know, and you've been fighting it. Not to say that you've given into it, you've you've fought it, you know, and it's been tough. But with that, it comes this ball of confusion because you know at some point you're going to have to make a decision about this. Do I pro proceed with this person or do I not? What do I do? What do I do? Your person is looking to, you know, it's like they're, they're more about embracing this opportunity to create something. So maybe it's you. Maybe it's more so for a lot of you, it's you who has a third person or this other person. But this person is very much showing up as, okay, I'm ready to create something new. This is an opportunity. Let me embrace it. Um, but it's like, okay, I'm being stopped naturally because your hesitancy but very much drawn towards this person i want to take a risk on them but again i'm being stopped i'm unable to proceed uh with with this unable to proceed with this what's funny is, is this person had the magician so the magician talks about and i just looked at the um clock and it's four 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 um the magician talks about look that up as well some of you guys angel number um I just talk, I just, the magician talks about, you know, having all the tools and the resources to make something happen. Yes, sometimes it deals with manipulation because of course, if you have certain tools, you're able to manipulate. But this, this is more about them having a level of belief that they can move this along. Um, and they're comfortable with that as well. I'm not sure why they feel that. <laughs> Simply, you know, especially if you've got someone else. Not sure, but that's what's going on for them. There is this just confidence and this level of belief that they can turn this into something. You'll you'll move, you know, they'll they'll um they'll embrace this. You're gonna embrace this thing. You guys are gonna progress towards something. I'm not sure where they've got that from. Then they could be right. <laughs> As I look at your cards, we've got the ace and we've got the fall. You know, the ace talks about an opportunity to build. And the four talks about taking a risk, starting this new chapter, this new journey. Yes, it's a naive card because you don't know the outcome. The four is a major arcana, uh, the beginning of the journey. This is the four that takes the initial step. Um, because when it comes to tarot, you've got the, um, it's, it's a journey. It's, a, it's called the four's journey. And you go through different stages within um, this journey and it represents life. And these cards represent uh, points and pinnacle points. Um, of that journey so yeah but that's a, a, another story for another day so this this yeah you're you're looking to so they could be right they could be right um i do get this sense and i will say this simply because we're not moving into the extended version of the reader where i kind of you know look into more details about this setup and where it leads to i will say i am at the moment getting this feeling of unsure unsureness even though there's we've got these two cards here there is this feeling of you being unsure not sure whether you should take a risk on this where we should progress with this and but it's not a it's a it's a it's an unsure feeling that makes me feel like you should put a pause on that um put your foot down on the brakes because it just doesn't feel aligned for me it doesn't feel aligned for me which makes me feel like you know you just need maybe a bit more time to digest this situation. And if you do decide to proceed, make sure you're telling all of that's involved. You know me, I'm all for honesty. Um, I'm not into no, you know, but I'm also not a judgmental type of person. I'm not here to judge. So, but however, karma is a, as we say, yeah. So move right. <laughs> um, ultimately do what you feel you need to do, but make sure you're moving right in the process. Yeah, as I said, karma is a. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. Um, I will be implementing the singles readings next week, guys. So look out for that. Um, other than that, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Um, see you guys next week.